Hey guys, I have a super quick art journal page to share with you today in my mini marks journal. And um, for some reason my book had this little piece of like craft paper stuck in there. So I just glued it down. <laughs> um, this substrate is a piece of ledger paper from a Polish ledger. And um, I'm going to start out with some Dina Wakely Media Acrylic and Mineral. It's one of her new colors. And I also got out sand, but I didn't end up using it. I'm going to use my catalyst tool to scrape some of that um, paint away because I really want to be able to see the Polish words through the paint because of my plan for the page um, later on. So um, I'm going to add some French ultramarine uh, archival ink and Aviva Las Vegas stamps stamp called Row of Numbers. And I'm just going to stamp it here and there. And then I got out cobalt, but it was too dark for me. I wasn't feeling it. So I know it's archival, but I thought maybe I could scrape it up. And I was able to, but I think it was more because my paint was still wet. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to add a little more paint because when I was wiping away the cobalt, some of the paint um, went away. So I'm going to do an image transfer and this is a picture of my grandparents. And um, so this ledger paper is from a Polish club where actually where my grandparents met. Um, funny enough, I came to acquire this ledger from this guy and upon doing research and talking with my mother about it, it's where my grandparents met. So um, when I do an image transfer, I'm gonna take some matte medium, put a layer down on my paper, put a layer down on my image, and I just use a regular inkjet printer and on regular printer paper. And then I'm gonna press my image down, making sure that every part of my paper comes in contact with the um, background paper. And then I'm gonna dry it really, really good with my heat tool, front, back, completely dry. Um, you should probably let it air dry, but I, I've gotten pretty good results just by um, drying it with my heat tool. And then I'm just going to use um, my finger, uh, spray it with some water and get some of that paper pulp up to reveal the image underneath. And um, I'm going to remove some extra of the paper from where my grandmother's dress is so you could see that those Polish words um, coming through um, because she is the Polish one. My grandfather's actually German and um, he played baseball all around which is why he was at the Poli Club. It's not like he was just picking up Polish broads. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so I wanted to see some of that those Polish words coming through on her skirt and um, then I'm just going to go over the whole thing with a layer of matte medium just to seal everything in um, and make sure, um, you know, it looks, um, well, I was going to say smooth, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, when you put the matte medium over top of it, it kind of like if you have any of that cloudiness, it kind of helps that to go away. That's what I'm trying to say. So then I'm just finding some words from the Tim Holtz chit chat. Um, stickers and I'm going to piece together a phrase of words there and it says um, uh, finally happy oh feeling happy he fell in love with her at once for thy sweet love remembered and that is it for my page super simple but I like it thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon bye bye guys